audio one of the most overlooked features of any kind of video entirely as long as the video has voice audio is one of the most overlooked features you can have the best camera you can have the best highest quality footage codec everything but once your audio is trash that's taking everything away from the video i mean look at most nigerian movies for instance like the quality is nice but the audio like that echo you know you know that sleeper sound that sound freaks me out every time i hear it you know because i don't know how they don't have good audio i mean they're professionals but like good audio you know but so basically in this video i'm going to be teaching you guys this is most especially for like you guys that um, do podcasts people that do interviews to show you guys how to transform your audio from the basic audio that you use from your camera your mic and transform it using software only using editing to make it sound just a tad bit higher quality so without any further ado let's let's, let's get into it okay so first things first let's head to premiere pro with the desired audio you want to change so here we go um all right so here we are in premiere pro this is adobe premiere pro 2021 um, the 2020 is 2020 but like the update, the new update, but it doesn't matter which version you're using But let's make sure you have Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe Audition installed on your system So here we are, this is um the audio file you want to be working with, this one here, this bottle, we're going to be working with this file What we're going to do with, once you already have Adobe Audition installed on your system We're going to, um, let's click here We're going to press Extract we're gonna extract it. Uh, no, sorry. We're going, to, we're going to right click. I'm gonna to go to Edit Clip in Adobe Audition. I'm gonna click that, and it's gonna take us to this window in Adobe Audition. And yes, if you have not ever used, if you've never used Adobe Audition in your life before, this is going to seem scary. It's going to seem overwhelming. It's going to seem weird. It's going to seem new to you. But just follow me along. Follow me exactly what I do and. You're going to be fine, I'm sorry. So let's listen to the tracks before I did anything. This is the file in its raw form, so let's take a listen. This is the voiceover we're going to change. This is the voiceover transformed. This is the voiceover in the raw form. This is the voiceover transformed. Alright, as we saw that, um, this is what we're going to be recording. This second part, these two and these two are what we're going to be changing. We're going to transform the audio, but first things first, before we do anything in Adobe Audition, you can do this like, you know, if you're someone that doesn't edit, you can actually just open a file directly in um, Adobe Audition. That's simple. Just press Ctrl O on your keyboard and open the file, o open the Adobe Audition fine. But if you're like a video editor and you have multiple audio files, you can open in Premiere then edit in Adobe then it will automatically sync in Adobe Audition in Adobe Premiere Pro so that's that so basically as I was saying before we start anything at all you want to go to your favorite tab your favorites so I'm going to click start recording favorites right I'm not going to click that for now but you guys should click start recording favorite so what I'm going to do that's going to create a preset that's going to record every single thing you're going to do so that when you're done you're going to like save that preset so like you're going to use it for future videos right so let's begin so basically we're not going to be working on this one and at all this is just there for reference these two are just there for reference so let's work, we're going to be working on these two one tip one, one pro tip for me that's how i work once you're doing any audio file it's highly recommended for you to like leave a few seconds of nothing in the background they call it room tone they do it for big movies they do it for in fact they do it for every single professional audio work interviews you hear them say let's call it room tone if notice like when you're moving film, film movies like they will just have one guy just recording sound in an empty in a quiet place what he's doing that like he's recording the room sound so that he can eliminate that unwanted background noise that you don't want which is why most of the time you don't hear noise in the background because if though there is noise like right now rain is falling Believe me or not, rain is falling. The gen, there's gentle sound in the background. Gen, I, I, we all know how gen is sound. Gen is crazy. Gen is loud. 
but because I left a few silence, if uh, record a few moments of silence, if a few moments of silence, the um footage um the audio I can now select that part and remove it out. So let's do that. So on this silent part you're seeing here right now, we're going to just drag on your keyboard. We're going to just drag any point that's silent that has no sound. We're going to drag that first. We're going to go to effects, noise reduction, and press capture noise print. Or you can just press shift P on your keyboard. Click OK. Now, with that noise print selected, captured, be select, then select the track, the desired track you want to edit right this part is selected now we're going to go to effects again now we're going to go to noise and reduction again but in instead of shift p then we're going to go to noise reduction process right click enter okay, so let's listen to it this is the voiceover transformed and this menu is this is the noise reduction um percentage this is the reduced by as in the volume should reduce by for me just keep it as for me personally i keep it at 60 i keep it at 10. so what you want to do is you want to match up the high, the, the noise floor and the threshold to be, you know, it depends on you. It depends on you to, be, to make a listen. That if I do this like this and I. This is the voiceover transformed. It's slight difference. Like if you use your headphones, you're going to like notice different. When I drag this to, I just match it to a particular point. This is the voiceover transformed. It is more in depth, you know, more in depth. So. You can copy my settings the way you see them. You're going to click apply. That has been done. So now, if you take a listen before and after, this is the voiceover we're going to change. This is the voiceover transformed. I don't know if you notice it, but like there's a slight difference in um, the volume. The background is limited a bit. So now that it's done, let's go to the next effect. So with this same clip selected, we're going to go to effects. Right? We're going to go to effects. We're going to go to. Um, Amplitude and compression, we're gonna to go to signal band compressor. Click that. Now, these are my custom settings that I use for every audio I do. Um, we have my threshold is at minus 15 dB. dB is the standard for decibels. Um, the ratio is 4 to 1. The, at the attack, which means like the millisecond, the sound attack is 10 milliseconds, the Re release is 100 milliseconds, up to gain zero. You can copy this exact settings. This is these are like for personal audio engineers so but not for us right now we're, we're, we're just making out the sound better right we don't really know what this is so just copy my set settings down then click apply so let's take a listen now this is the voiceover we're going to change this is the voiceover transformed so it's trying to even out the sound level so you won't have like big spikes big spikes in your audio i'm going to go to effects again we're going to go to um i'm building on again we go to normalize process normalize now what normalize does is it's going, it's, it's going to try to like as name sounds normalize everything to a particular percentage or decibel for me i use decibels for you you can use um the percentage but me i prefer decibels because decibels is more accurate i understand decibels more so we're going to go to um normalize to three minus three db minus three db is basically like it is um if you look at the scale here, this is where minus 3 dB is. But so let's just try that. You know, my minus 3 dB is like the main level for audio in like movies and stuff, so or like interviews, one to one. So let's I'll take a try there. See that? We try to normalize it to we put the spikes up to minus 3 dB. So now let's take a listen at that now. This is the voiceover transformed. Go back. This is the voiceover we're going to change. This is the voiceover transformed. So, effects again, I'm general compression. Then we're going to go to dynamic processing and dynamic range. So, this is basically what you want to do. To you can copy my exact settings written down here or try to copy the exact same list. Let's keep everything where it's supposed to be. Twenty-two. Yes, look at that. transformed. Yeah, I'm gonna click apply. Now you see that it has even everything out, right? So let's continue. We're almost done. I'm gonna go to um, what do they call it? I'm gonna go to what is it? filter and EQ, EQ, then parametric equalizer. Now this is basically where 
you twist and turn your audio you can make your audio sound like a radio you can make it sound like you're underwater you can make it sound like you're using a mic you know like a frequency mic high frequency mic but basically you cannot copy my exact settings but let's take a listen to what it looks like before this is the voiceover transformed let's listen without and with this is the voiceover transformed see that this is the voiceover transformed it's, li it's a little bit there just leave but for me this is what i like for you you can make this your left your your low to your high your this points like a middle to add another node when you when you open your own you don't, you don't get to have any node to add a new node just press two and i can press two three to add more nodes it, it depends on you but for me i just like keep cleaning at two so when you're okay with your audio you will have your sounds be careful not to like overdo it because it's going to destroy it so you can copy my exact settings if you want to like i said but let's click apart i'm okay with it right now you see that it changed everything so now let's take a listen to the original audio and before the edit this is the voiceover we're going to change it's flat this is the voiceover transformed in depth you know it sounds more professional just by doing these little settings now if you want to if if you want to you can normalize again to a minus 3 db but i did but i don't do that often but like let's see that you see this is the voiceover transformed you see that so much better just by doing a little few edits on adobe audition so basically now if you listen to me i know it's stubborn child and you click start recording favorite now when you're done you're going to press stop recording favorites right 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 now if you look at this now these are all the presets built in but you can create your own like you see this now this is my audio one this is my audio audio one these are the ones i did myself and i key mapped them so maybe like this one now i did two on purpose so like you see this particular this is the voiceover like in the raw form raw form this is the voiceover transformed now now that everything is set if i want to just copy what i just did here now and do it here i'm just gonna just select this part like i said i already have a preset set just press shift q to apply everything for me this is the this, voice over transformed. transformed if i want to i can normalize again because this one like i didn't normalize regularly but i know i normalize here for you guys so I'm, I'm just gonna just normalize it again on that particular edit um effects i'm just gonna press normalize my pdb fine this is the voiceover transformed. Exactly this is the voiceover transformed. Well, basically, but if you want to key map, if you want to key map, like you want to go to edit keyboard shortcuts or K, you want to search your audio name, the name you saved it. Like when you press stop recording, it's going to give you a name to save. So save that thing, save it as the name you want to, right? So I'm going to go to my audio one, then I'm going to just double click here. What, then whatever you click but whatever you click will be recorded i, I, I don't change mine for now but you know let me just put this see it's now shift let's say shift m for example m so, 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 and let me say shift alt m see that shift alt shift m that's okay so now anytime i click alt shift m it will do this preset on me for me so i basically thought about that so I oh, hope you guys have stayed. If you stayed to the end of this video, it's, it's quite detailed. It was quite fast, you know. But basically, that was that about that. So, I don't usually say subscribe to my channel. But like, I guess you guys, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. But I knew that a lot of you actually don't subscribe, you know, because of that. So, please subscribe to my channel, like, share, and you know. Tell me what you want. Tell me what you want to. What you want to learn. What you, what you want to see. What you want to do. I'm here for you guys. Once again, I'm Alex. This is Dynamic Range, and I'll see you in the next one.